Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Life Learning. Uh, we're gonna be using Blender 2.91 today because we have a new feature which is uh, quite exciting. It's a Boolean uh, collection. So, Boolean collection is very, very interesting. So, you can provide collections with a bunch of objects, basically, uh, something like this. And then, what's gonna happen? Uh, you can see here we have 24 objects and 99 objects. 24 um, box objects and 99 uh, all these icosphere objects so what happened here with this boolean guy uh, with this object um, I started with a queue basically and then I used this boolean and the collections to do union and difference so I use unions with the boxes and I use icosphere with the uh, Different, so it's gonna kind of like create like a uh, creating this um, kind of like a cheese cutters, and I'm using stretch of nodes on top of that to create these objects. So I can still control and randomize the seed, and I will get different cuts. Okay, sometimes we failed. But most of the time it works. This is a uh, this is very useful to create uh, like a, an organic kind of surface very very quickly. So let's say with the box we can we can make changes like that 1.4. So we have something that looks like a donut because I I started with a circle and I can control the radius of the circle. something like that and I can control the number of points along the circle like we have 24 here and I can randomize the position of points this way we have like a different uh, box shapes and then and then what I did is just uh, output the box and I join the box and I scatter random points on New, the, the mesh box so I'm scattering all this icosphere and I can reduce or increase the number of icosphere and then randomize so the sphere will take um, part of uh, the boxes randomly so I think this is a uh, super interesting something you can play around with and this is thanks to this uh, new collections uh, and boolean feature of blender 2.91 we don't have geometry nodes yet with 291 we need to use 292 but if I show you again once again what's what's going on so it's stretch up you can use random vector for example create a bunch of boxes and just output it so you can randomize the size of, and also so you we can randomize the, the scaling we can we can now pick up one of this guy and then just um, let's first of all put this inside the collections and let's see if this works so I'm assigning a boolean into one of these objects and change the operand into collections and using fast we can use union As a result of this, if we hide everything else, we have new objects that are actually a boolean of everything. So we can remesh this. It's a remesh modifier. 
So now we have a way to simply merge all the created box into a single object. And let's see. Yeah, I think it generates everything. Normally, I think it's a it's probably a good idea if I didn't use the first object here. So instead, I have a new another object and boolean and use the same collections fast and then remesh. So here I'm by default is difference we want just to be union. Alright. So this is the result. And you can hide the objects generated using Spectral. So we have that. It's pretty it's pretty cool. You can also change these objects into anything. That's uh, basically it. It's a pretty powerful way of working. And you can randomize the radius, or you can also randomize the location and the scaling. And also randomize the rotations. Let's see if this works. There you go. You can use multiply scalar, increase the vector. And you have something that's completely random. And all these collections we have, I mean, we have 30 objects in the collections, and we have our original cube, which is this guy over here. And we just, we have all this to create uh, an abstract looking object. Okay, so yeah, I think this is a really cool feature of 2.91. Give it a try, uh, play around with this intersect union difference and collections. Alright, so hopefully you'll find this interesting, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Thank you, bye.